Hello and welcome to this MicroFocus Zenworks Service Desk video discussing the Appliance Administration Console for Service Desk version 7.5. If you have not dealt with an appliance before, you may have questions regarding managing an appliance. If you are familiar with the most recent MicroFocus appliances, you will recognize similarities. Either way, this video should give you a better understanding of the management options in the Service Desk appliance. Overview of this presentation will cover the advantages for using an appliance model, where to go to get to the appliance console and what it looks like. There's a short video showing the different aspects and service abilities of the appliance administration console, then debugging and logging information with details depending on each version, and finally resources available for your use in configuring the service desk, troubleshooting, and how to request enhancements. Advantages for the common appliance framework model is standardizing the migration path, quicker upgrade processes as the products evolve to newer versions of the application and base operating system, and the additional volume helps with these quicker upgrades minimizing downtime. OS online updates can be performed or scheduled through the Service Desk Online Updates channel processing in the Administration Console. This also increases product security by not applying unnecessary patches or updates and only turning on services needed for the Service Desk to function. The ability for backups with snapshots before upgrades, minimizing prep time before upgrades. There is no charge for operating system licenses and faster product release cycles because enhancements and testing are done on a single platform instead of multiple platforms. Internally minted SSL certificates is a standard and secures the website. Change control system downtime for upgrades is vastly reduced and the administration console on port 9443 allows management of the appliance without additional Linux experience in a common browser. Prior to Zenworks Service Desk version 7.5, the appliance could be managed through a VM itself where you can manage the appliance by selecting options that open YAST or you can select options for the Service Desk appliance that manage Service Desk settings by turning on or off appliance services, database management, and migration or upgrades. In version 7.5, the appliance model administration console can be brought up in a browser. During the install of the appliance itself, the wizard will request a root and SD admin password. This SD admin password is for the Service Desk Administrator login to the Administrator console. Once the appliance server is up and running, the appliance VM will display the URL to the Administration console site. This will be on port 9443 by default. When you enter the URL and port, log in with SD Admin and the password that was used when configuring the console. Then the main page for the Administration console will appear. This will allow you to manage and maintain the appliance server and service desk components from a server standpoint. Let's have a walkthrough on our administrative servers both prior to version 7.5 and then compare that to the version 7.5 using the common appliance framework. So we have a 703 appliance up and then we have a 7.5 appliance up. If we go over to our VMs we'll see that on our 7.3, the appliance administration console was right on the actual appliance itself uh, when you logged into the console. And from here, you'd select one to do any appliance changes for network information, shutting down, so forth. Or you can do Novell service desk changes where you do your upgrade or stop and start application services. On version 7.5, when you bring up your appliance, you'd notice that it actually gives you a URL to go to which is on port 9443. If we go over to a browser on port 9443 we can log in as sdadmin. sdadmin password was configured when we installed the appliance. And here we have everything we need to do on the appliance through this series of tiles. We can do appliance configurations and we can do service desk configurations. For instance, the ganglia monitoring and seeing uh, different reportings, you can go to ganglia monitoring right here 
configuration is over to the right. The network tile allows you to configure your DNS settings and your network configurations. If you wish to change your NTP settings, you can change them through the time tile. Again, remember the NTP and the Ethernet and DNS are not migrated from one earlier version to the version 7.5. If you wanted to use digital certificates, by default, version 7.5 has a self-signed internal certificate. And if you wish to create or import your own, you can through this menu system here. Make sure once you import your certificate, if you use an external or another certificate, make sure you set as active so it'll be active before you reboot. Storage allows us to change and expand partitions. System services allows us to enable or disable a couple of services, one of them being SSHD, which must be turned on if we're going to win SCP or PuTTY to this device. These can be turned on or off and set as manual or automatic through the menuing system. The firewall is obvious. All the ports that are open and blocked for this system. Administrative passwords can be changed through this tile here. And then online updates is the last one. This allows us to update the kernel and update any vulnerabilities or patches that this appliance needs through the service desk channel directly from Microfocus. The way you would do that is putting in your email address and then your activation key is on your customer portal either purchased or entitled software. You'd go to Zenworks service desk selecting keys. Select the Microfocus service desk update channel. That's for your appliance. You'd put that in the activation key and hit enter. At which time it'll authenticate, log in, and download any patches that might need to be put on this particular device. And currently there are no needed patches. You can see what installed patches might be already installed. This appliance has no patches needed at this time. You could also schedule for it to check daily, weekly, or monthly. You can update now through the menuing options. Now onto the Zenworks Service Desk Appliance options. Your Service Desk configuration is here. You can see the OS and disk space. Your database configuration is here, allowing you to switch to an alternate database if needed. We could then go over to Terminal and File Explorer. SSHD has to be enabled for this to come up properly. So you have a terminal window here, so you don't even need to go to the appliance VM to log in. You can do it directly from this administration console. If you wanted to look at any of the files or file structures, you can do that through this interface here, your lifetime logs and so forth. An extension of that would be the logs, where if you're looking for a particular log on Service Desk, you can go Lifetime Logs and it'll take you directly there to the appropriate directory and give you those particular logs. You can also open them up here and you can also query from here and it'll give you the top 100 lines. This also is like tailing a log, so as services are happening, you'll see them appear directly here. So being able to search while that's happening will give will narrow down exactly what you're looking for. There's also OS logs, um, appliance logs, and so forth. So it'll take you directly to those particular logs that you might be looking for for troubleshooting. And you can also export logs from here as well. View tail mode. Download. Then if you want to go directly to the service desk login from this point, you can select this tile and it'll take you directly there. 
going back to 9443, if you're doing a migration, you'd select the migration tile, put in the IP address of the older version and the password, select migrate, and it'll give you some progress results in the upper left here. If you wanted to restart services, you can do so through this particular restart button. Check the service desk, do a restart. You can reboot or shut down from here as well. SD Admin is the service desk admin, and you can also log in here as root. So that gives you a short, brief look at how you can administer the Linux appliance on the version 7.5 compared to the older versions and how they've simplified the administration of the appliance itself. For debugging or logs that might be needed, reference TID 7017045, which has the information you need. As Service Desk has developed to the common appliance framework model, so some commands and directory structures have shifted along the way. Those are listed here depending on the current version you have in place, or you can refer to TID 7018199. Here are some microfocus service desk resources that are listed for your convenience. The service desk documentation site where you can find information on your specific version. The service desk public forums to check with colleagues on features and issues you might want to investigate. The microfocus service desk YouTube channel has many videos on the service desk capabilities configuration, settings, and troubleshooting. Microfocus Ideas Portal for Service Desk is where we get some of your best ideas to be implemented in Service Desk. Microfocus Service Desk Version 7 Cookbook, TID 7021281, which is an overall comprehensive reference link for versions 7.x processes, including upgrading. We have discussed the advantages for the appliance model. We viewed the Appliance Administration console prior to 7.5 and 7.5, and we had a walkthrough demonstration showing the latest console options. We looked over some debug and logging information along with resources available to you. We hope this clears up some questions and gives a visual of what you can expect when managing the Microfocus Zenworks Service Desk Appliance in version 7.5. This concludes a video showing Microfocus Zenworks Service Desk version 7.5 Appliance console. Thank you and have a good day.